and welcome to the MSc dissertation documentation series. All right, I messed it up the take before this, I'm gonna be honest, but now we're here, and that's all that matters, right? So I'm here with... Shivani Sangha. <laughs> I messed up her name too. <laughs> so now she's in charge of that one. But we are here to you know, document our progress through our dissertation, writing 10 months that we have, um, and then graduation in December. So the 12 months that we are here for, we kind of want to be able to have that visual representation of our progress so that we can track it ourselves and remind ourselves how far we've come, that we will get to where we're trying to go to, even if it is hard, right? So just a little get to know you video, nothing too serious today. We will have like one question about the dissertation. But for now, just kind of get some questions so that you guys can get more familiar with Shivani. So, to start off, how old are you? When is your birthday? And what's your star sign? This is my kind of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone knows me. Talking about star signs is my thing. So, my name's Shivani Sangha. 03, 07, 1998. I'm a Cancerian. But I'm a Cancerian sun, I'm a Libra moon, and I am a Virgo rising. Very important. July. She did the little British thing with the oh, dates, okay, yeah. just in case, you know, my Americans you know, <laughs> got you. Don't worry about it. Um, do you have any dietary restrictions? <sighs> we had a little scenario today. <laughs> I thought I knew was Sam. <laughs> okay, basically, I'm a pescatarian by choice <laughs> and um, I shouldn't be really eating gluten but I eat it anyways and I have a very severe nut allergy very severe EpiPen severe where are you from? I'm from London and Essex Essex I just tell everyone she's from Essex she gives bougie I don't know if you can see but there's a fur coat back there so just go ahead and give the people a little um, so, <laughs> where did you study previously and what degrees do you hold? So, I studied at University of Greenwich. I did Biomedical Science, Bachelors. Then I did a previous Masters before um, at Queen Mary's University of London and I did Forensic Medicine. Not the typical traditional route, but yeah. And now she's here for another taste of a Masters degree because she just couldn't get enough. Um, what's your favourite thing about studying here at the University of Reading? Campus is nice. We got a huge selection of skeletons, um, different collections as well, and we're actually taught by industry professionals. Yeah. And obviously Kenny here as well. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> How did you find out about the MSc program here? I'll be honest, Google. Mm -hmm. Like, flat out honest. I d I d Whatever works. I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't know reading at the university. But <laughs> I googled and when I started looking actually into it, mm -hmm. there was a lot more positives about this university not being biased. But there is actually a lot of positives. That's true, to I agree. Do you have any next steps in mind? It can be big or specific or however. PhD. Mm -hmm. I do want to do a PhD. Um, yeah. But my interest is more forensic based, so I'm thinking a bit more forensic -y. Do you have any idea of what your dissertation topic will be yet? So, I will be doing, on a certain collection, I'll be doing stable isotopes to get diet, um, like a diet, um, Profile. Profile. Um, and I'll be doing it on pathological skeletons to kind of see if pathology affects stable isotope readings. If you hadn't told me that like one hour ago, I'd be like blown out of my mind right now. I'd be like, wow, that's such a good idea. I think it's a good idea so, but the reaction wouldn't have been as <laughs> as it was earlier today. Um, and then what's something that you love to do outside of education? 
Ooh, okay, I like shopping. I like going out to eat. And... Just, it's always a hard one. Yeah. Because you get. Apologies, impromptu commercial break. Camera died, had to put another battery in. Um, but we're back now. But if the frame is shifted, that's why it's like that. Um, so I apologize. But we were talking about um, what you love to do outside of education. So do you have anything you wanted to add to that? I like doing tennis. I teach mm -hmm. little kids. I love coaching kids. It's hilarious. Especially when you can just dog them. They suck because they're little kids. Anyway, off top. <laughs> what or who has been most integral to your support system over the years so far? So we're quite lucky that we got a supportive class. Mm. Um, so I'd say the class. Um, I'd say my friends as well. And yeah. Good answer. Me. It was all me. Anyway, so I have, well, you already know it's coming because I did it to Sean, which is why I wanted her to go first to catch her completely off guard. But <laughs> I've got five questions that are different from her questions. But I think you'll like, these are like a little bit more like, hmm. Okay, go. All right. So I'm not giving you context. You can make your own context. But okay. logic or emotion? Logic. Passion or stability? Growth or security? Security. Why? Because. <laughs> <laughs> you just got all my answers, I think, until that one. But pause <laughs> or rewind. Oh, pause or rewind time. Ooh, rewind. Cherished or respected? Respected. That's a hard one, that last one. I don't know what I would pick, mm. honestly. Damn, Cherished or respected. Was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, pause or rewind time? I would pause time. Would you? Yeah, just so I could sleep. That's actually my only reason. I I, mm. I would like yeah. to go back to conversations and re like rethink about it. Because uh -huh. uh, after something's happened, that's when I actually like it settles in. I actually deep it. Yeah, the little processing yeah. delay. Yeah, I think everybody has like just that little processing delay where you're like, wait, what did you say? What was that? Yeah. 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 All right, well, that's all we have here today. Thank you so much. Hope you guys got to know Shivani a little bit better and that you will stick around for her video at the end of next month. So see you. Well, you see me, but see Shivani in one month's time. Bye.